you know? I was walking down the street where I live. I live in a uh, mobile community, Mobile, Alabama. We don't just have mobile homes in the traditional sense, no. We don't just have trailers, you know, the kind where they don't have running water. So if you need to use the bathroom, you actually just crap into a bucket and then take it out and pour it in the mountain range next to you. Makes good fertilizer. Growing lemons out in the valleys where the skeletons arise and suck on lemons and die again. <clears throat> now, we live in a dumpster farm. But one day I was out walking outside of my dumpster farm practicing the ukulele when lo and behold, a rather large robotic looking man appeared. Now, here in my small mobile community in Mobile, Alabama, we don't get too many strangers, but he didn't seem so strange after I asked him his name. Hi, old stranger. What brings you out here? I asked, feeling disheveled. My name is Tex. Oh, he sounded just like my dad. I don't want to be a part of no society no more. But we're living in a society, I said, frizzled and unkempt, my hair standing on edge, realizing I was talking to some sort of man, bot, robot, man, robot, human. I screamed and I started running away. Hold your fire. I, 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 I didn't know what to do other than to turn around and stop. I'm friendly and I don't mean no friendly fire. He said, referencing when people in combat fucking kill each other, and therefore rob their friends of an opportunity to go back home to their families and live a normal civilian life. That's cool, I said, calm down, eyeing the Bible in his pocket. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior? He asked. We talked for a little bit, and being a good Christian man, I expected him to talk a little bit about perhaps the Book of Judges and the lady who impaled the guy right through the fucking face. But no, instead, he, he talked about something that didn't make all that much sense to me. Now, he claimed, and again, I, I don't. I don't know that I, I believe in this, but that there is some sort of orange hued God who has private scriptures located in his uh, private condominium down in uh, South Florida, Florida Beach, something like that. Magical land of Mary Largo. It's supposed to be like a, uh, a heaven of sorts, but down there, uh, you know, instead of worshiping the one and, and only true God, instead you worship this orange man and you bow down and you would kiss his ass, literally just kiss him right on the rump. I asked him why he was okay with this faith and professing it, and he said that he was in fact made in this orange man's image. I asked him if he wanted an orange, having freshly peeled an orange with an orange peeler, and he took a bite and he spat it out and said that if you want a real orange, you have to go into the valley. I asked him if, if he meant the, the valley with all the skeletons that rise out, and he said yes. Well, we went for a little stroll. Now, he was a rather obese robot, and they didn't give him any uh, engines or propellers or projectors that made him go super fast, or perhaps roller skates that fired up or a hoverboard, you know, they made back to the future and, you know, 1985, 2005, 2015, not, not all that, uh, not all it was supposed to be. <clears throat> With that said, we walked into the valley. It was a long walk. I got a little tired, but the vitamin C from the oranges kept me awake. Tex being a robot didn't fall asleep at all. There, he said, pointing a robot appendage to a small shack. The shack said free candy on it. Oh boy, I wasn't one to deny free candy. Now, admittedly, it was written in sort of this gooey looking font, almost like Comic Sans font if it was actually written out on a sign. But, you know, it, the, the red paint dripping down suggested that it was fresh paint, and therefore not an abandoned shack. And anyone who took that kind of care to, to take out a fresh blood red Comic Sans paint in, in the middle of the, the valley... I don't know. I don't know. That's, that sounded okay. Well, I went inside the shack, and as it turned out, um, I don't know how to say it 
other than to say it, but there was candy and it was free, but it, not the sort of candy or the freedom that I ever would have inquired about. No. Tex pointed out the same appendage and his finger turned into a rather menacing looking drill. I can't say that I'm afraid of Dennis because being from a, a dumpster farm in Mobile, Alabama, I'd never been to the dentist. I've never had health coverage. Barely even know what the sucker is. He charged at me with the drill finger, and before I know it, he drilled out all of my teeth. He told me that life is a lemon, and we should suck on lemons and make our own lemonade out of our digestive juices. I told him I didn't quite understand what that meant, and methodically he, well, he told me that he cares too much about the environment to use a plastic straw, so he took out a metal straw and sucked out my juices by taking this giant fucker and sticking it right all the way down my esophagus. He sucked out my digestive juices. I felt a little faint and I collapsed. Those would be my last moments alive. When I woke up, when I woke up, when I woke up, when I woke up, I shrieked in horror. I was a skeleton, a skeleton wearing a top hat and a monocle and brandishing a cane. When did he put the cane in my bony hand, bony apparatus? What a shitload of fuck. I, I, I tried to get up and shake the cane at him, but he was nowhere to be seen. Just then. Just then something every bit as terrifying occurred. All the skeletons in the boneyard rose up, and I kid you not, it was better than the best CG animatronics Chuck E. Cheese Five Nights at Freddy's ever imaginable, as they all snapped in this place. The knee bone connected to the thigh bone, the thigh bone connected to the femur, the femur connected to the trachea. However it goes, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Again, I'm from Mobile, Alabama. I barely know what a doctor is. But what I do know is they all got together and they started forming a dance all around me in a semicircle. And I magically took the lead. Derpity 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 hum, derpity 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 dum, derpity 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 dum, derpity derpity dum dum dum. Tex tex orange man good. Tex tex orange man food. Orange man full of vitamin C prevents me from ever getting scurvy. I don't need to go out to the sea. I just need to be in the valley. Die 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 At that point, I collapsed like Macaulay Culkin's acting career, and all that was left of me was a blue dot, a blue dot of singularity, an energy field, as I shot off into the sky. And at that point, the world exploded.